Okay, so Young Black and Mary had a snuggle through the struggle. Um, well, we met on the 4th of July about five years ago. I ain't gonna say it happens often, but it has been times where We did let you know that we were gonna record and um, record the content and publish it. So <clears throat> your story, your DM, you DM that she said, um, hello and thanks. So I've been with my baby daddy for 10 years. I'm at a place where I'm so ready to settle down and move forward in life. He at one time said he's ready and then he spazzes and says he can't do this. He has to get himself together and you let him know that you're here to help him and get him right. And then, you know, he says that he wants to do it alone. So he's pushing you away to stay focused on him. You tell him you want to fight for fight for your relationship and remain, remain by his side. <clears throat> and he tells you there's no us because of his current situation. He's never had to take care of himself. Someone else has always done it for him, so now he's learning how to take care of him. So am I wrong for fighting for it? We first read the DM, the first thought that I was thinking is, how old is he? And how old are you? He's 42, and I'm 40. Okay. So, and how long, and y'all been together, like, in a, has the, how has the relationship been over the last 10 years? Um, it's been up and down, um, for the most. Like I said, um, we're in a place where throughout the years I've grown. Um, I've excelled on my job. I've overcome so many obstacles and I've just passed him up. And usually he was the one that, you know, was dominant on the job and, you know, doing his thing here now, it's me. And he's always, like I said before, he's always had somebody to take care of him, his sisters, his mama. You know, he's always just had somebody to cut for him. So now he's in a place where I have to figure this out on my own. I have to be a man. And, you know, I feel like at 42, you should have been established how to be a man. But, hey, it takes some of us longer than others. So he's now, you know, saying, this is what I need to do for me. And, um, like I said, it's just been up and down. He says one thing and then he shows me you know, this is what I want, you know. I don't have to say, do A, B, C, D, F, G, you know. He brings me to work, picks me up, does things around the house, takes the kids to get haircuts. You know, he shows me. It's not about just what is, you know, not could say one thing, but then his action shows me something totally different. And, you know, you said, well, if he wants his space, you know, just give him space, you know, don't contact him. And I've done that. And he's, um found a way to get the kids to come back and say, okay, well, this is what it is. And it's like, what he said never existed. And I'm like, how does this go? You know, you say you want your space, you need your space, but then when I give you your space, it's like, oh, you leave me for another nigga. Like, make up your mind. What is it? And I'm just, you know, I'm at a place where I'm just too old for the foolishness. Let me know what it is. And, you know, if I'm not what you want and who you want, tell me. And let me deal with it. Let me pick up the pieces and deal with all of the extra. But, you know, he he throws me out, but then he grabs me back when he realizes that, you know, I'm doing what you told me to do. Do me. And, and that's taking care of my kids and going to work and grinding every day as I do. So don't feel some kind of way when I give you what you asked for. And then you want to grab me back and hold me closer because you see that, Honestly, I don't need you. I want you, but I don't need you. So, like, basically, that's the only issue that y'all have seems to be having in a relationship because it seems that he just might be a little insecure as a man, you know. And sometimes it is hard for men to, you know, they're used to being the, the breadwinners and, the, you know, all of that. So, you know, at the same time, you being a woman, you have to understand that. And, you know, hope, do you understand, like, how he feels in that situation? Because you don't, like, rub it in his face or make him feel any type of way, right? No, I totally understand his position. You know, it, at the time, I feel like he feels less than a man to not be able to provide and give me the things that it is that I want out of life. And, 
the argument goes back to how could I give you me when I'm not happy with me right now? And I said, I understand that. So that's me telling him, well, I'm willing to stay by your side while you work out your issues with yourself, while you get yourself together, you know? And, you know, when you get to that place, then we not pick up the pieces where we left off, but we start a new chapter. We, we start a new beginning. And he's like, but no, we can't do that. I'm like, what do you mean? And I'll, I'll question, um, where do you see us in the future? And his response will be, I can't predict the future. I said, but you can predict what's in your heart. Y'all have kids together. Do y'all live together as well? We have kids together. We don't live together. He has his own space and I have my own. And we, you know, go to each other's places. We have overnights. You know, we spend days with each other. But as far as living, no. Okay. But so do you all, so you don't feel like it's anything other than him really not knowing what he want? Is it like, because I couldn't find, I couldn't, I can't see any other reason for him not wanting to, because you, you sound like a good woman, you take care of your kids, you grind hard, you go to work, you know, you're excelling in life, and it doesn't matter if he's not doing that within his own standards. I feel like as long as y'all doing it together, because that's what we're supposed to do as couples. It's, we're supposed to grow together, you know? And it's like, why exactly. doesn't he exactly. feel that close bond, that connection with you to you know, look at it like that. Like, not that you're excelling, we're excelling, you know? Exactly, and that's what I tell him. You know, when I get up, and I don't want to get up, but I get up and I punch that clock, I punch it for us. Not just me and me, I punch it for us. Because if there's something that you need that you don't have, hey, you got, I'm here, that's me. I'm your ride or die, I'm your backbone, I'm that one. And that's what I try to show him, even on my off days. When they call me in, you want to work? Yes. Yeah. Come on, come in to work. Let me get it. That's me. You know, somebody wants their hair braided. I'm braiding it. You know, when I'm making, I'm giving them half of it. Because I'm, I'm doing this for us. You say all these things to him. Have you ever told him that you're just like, okay, it's like, bro, what you want to do? Like, because <laughs> you just sound like you're I, at the point where, like, you're tired of the back and forth. Like, we on, we off, we on, we off. And I've given him that ultimatum, and I've had that heart-to-heart -heart with him and telling him, you know, this is what it is. This is where I'm at. I'm ready to settle down. I'm tired of playing the role. I'm tired of running the streets. I'm tired of dealing with these different-ass niggas. This is what I want. I know what I want. I know where I'm at. This is what it is. And this is what I want. You are who I want. And with that being said, the only way we're going to work is if you meet me halfway. And my words to him was, if you feel like this is not what you want and I'm not who you want, put your keys on the back of the counter and go ahead. And his response was, I'm going to meet you halfway. We're going to make this work. But then, you know, he getting his feelings or whatever happens and if I can't do this, I need to get me together. And if there is no us, like, what the fuck? I'm sorry. Like, what the fuck do you want, dude? You, you say you want this, you're going to work towards it, and don't get me wrong, his actions show at times that this is what I want. And then his actions make me wonder, like, okay, what's really good? What's going on? Don't leave me in a place of uncertainty. You know, tell me what it is. Don't be scared to lose what you know you have. Don't keep me on your side for the benefits of knowing that, damn, you are a good woman. Somebody you know, he's fall back me. on. Yeah. Oh, whoever, whoever you were with before me, tell me that I said thank you because you know what you have as far as a woman, as far as a lover, as far as your son. You know who you have. You know what it is. When you ain't have gas to put in your vehicle, here you go. That's me. So it's more like a, what? it's like a financial issue. Like he just, it's just money. That's his, that's kind of like his, that's his, his downfall his right now. Because yes, he's been out of work. No, he doesn't contribute. Yes, I take care of the kids because like I tell them at the end of the day, they mine. Regardless if you step up and do what you're supposed to do, they mine. So I'm going to take care of them. So with him, yes, it, it's a financial, it's a, damn, I ain't got it, but damn, get off your ass and go get it. 
is he making the effort? Like, do you see him out there trying to get it? Or is it kind of like, do you feel like maybe he's, like, using you in this situation a little bit? Um, I don't feel like he's using me. I feel like there's a lot of procrastination on his behalf. Um, I have seen emails where he filled out applications. I've seen him coming to get me from work. He's dressed up in khakis and, you know, a dress shirt to where he's been to an interview. But I feel like he's more or less in his comfort zone just knowing that I have her by my side. I have her to pick me up. I have her to back me. So I kind of feel like um, he uses that to his advantage. And, and that's what I just, you know, just, I go cold on us. Like, you have to, no, I don't. And then I think about it because I've heard the word used a lot of times in our relationship. And I don't feel like that because when I don't have it and when I'm down, hey, he's still here. He still rides with me. But I, I feel like I contribute a lot to him being in his comfort zone, just knowing that, you know, I'm here for him. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta stop enabling. Don't pay his phone bill. I agree. Yeah, don't pay his phone bill. Make him get his phone bill. So, so make and, him get his phone so Yeah, and that's why you don't. And that's why you. That's why she feels she doesn't feel used because she's doing it genuinely from the kindness of her heart. Yeah. I mean, she should do it. They, they yeah, they're a couple. Family. Yeah, they're a family. Yeah, they got kids together ten years. But at the same time, he, he a man. He gotta. He gotta get it, like. Yeah. yeah. He gotta. He gotta find a way. Yeah. You, you gotta stop find, giving it to him. He won't find it. And then just giving it to him, and then he's not even showing appreciation. He's not even showing you. Okay, I at least want to be with you. At least give you that much. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, and that's just being uh -huh. real with you. Because like he should show that appreciation, like the fact that she does look out for you, she cares yeah. if you know what I'm saying, like yeah. your situation. Because yeah. a lot of it's some women out there that'll be like, uh, uh, he ain't got his yeah. stuff together, I'm out. Yeah, they ain't gonna take your call. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But he does have a good woman, and he yeah. does know that. Because I've been and like I told him, I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly with him. I I've been with him when he was up. I've been with him when he was down. And I mean, I've just, I've been that rider that I kicked through it all. And that's what I try to show him. I mean, if you love me like you say you love me, show me. Don't leave the door open for anybody else to come in and say, man, I got your girl because you know what? I'm, I'm going to give her what you did. And it's just that easy because it's like appreciation. Show me you appreciate me as a woman. Show me you appreciate me as your lover, as your kid's mom. Appreciate me for the things I do for you. And I don't do it to look for a, a, a thank you or an acknowledgement. I do it because that's what my that's my heart. That's how I am with him. I want to up and just say, you know what, I'm out, you got it, and then miss out on, you know, what I felt like it was. It could have been. You understand what I'm saying? Am I making sense right now? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But I feel like at the end of the day, it's nothing wrong with you wanting clarity in your relationship. It's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So, I just feel like it's only going to go two ways. Because, like, have you, I mean, clearly I'm, I'm pretty sure you've already voiced to him how you feel and stuff like that. But it's like you kind of got to show him how you feel. And I tell women all the time, moving on and showing him how you feel and standing up for yourself and being stern, that doesn't mean going to be with another man. That means just to keep moving forward. Keep taking care of your kids. Keep going to work. Keep grinding. All of that stuff. Stop yeah, but th but you have to stop enabling him because, like, that's his biggest problem. And you have such a big heart, but at the same time, he, he's not a kid. He's not a baby. He got to be a man. Okay. And that's just, like, you know, keeping it real. Yeah. Because there's no reason why y'all been together. Y'all got kids. Y'all got 10 years. Like, there's no reason why y'all shouldn't be one big happy family, you know, regardless of the financial exactly. situation. That means that's nothing compared to all the other problems in the world. Money is, Money is small yeah, that's a, that's a small thing. It's, it's many other issues exactly. y'all would be going through. And it seems like exactly. he has to just mature a little bit. He has to grow up. And I think you giving him that space and stop enabling him, he's going to be forced to grow up. Because ain't no grown man want to go around with, with his phone off. Especially when he's trying to get a job, he's trying to do all these things. 
Like you gotta show him, like, look, these are your the consequences of your actions. You know, mm -hmm. show him that yeah, I'm here for you, but I'm I, you you gotta be here for yourself. You're not his fallback girl, you know. You're not his mom. You're not his. You you his woman. You love him. You got passion for him. I can hear it in your voice. But at the same time, he has to be a man. And a man knows where they want to be. That's first of all. So I just felt like you just, you say you had the heart to hearts and you gave him the ultimatums. And I just think it's now it's time for you to just show him how you feel through your actions. Stop enabling him. Mm -hmm. Make it a focus on the kids. Make it about the kids. If a relationship is not what he wants, he's not ready, you want to focus on yourself, then give him the space and make him do that. Now he have no choice but to do that because he don't have you to fall back on. And maybe that'll make yeah. him a better man at the end of the day. As long as you love him enough to stick around and wait for him to get his stuff together and be a faithful woman at the same time, then I feel like y'all can work through that because we are human beings. We all have flaws. And those, that, that shows true love when you work through those flaws and you come out together, you know? Mm -hmm. I agree. So I just feel like it's something that you have to kind of, you, you sound like you have a big heart, but, you know, you can't be superwoman and he not being superman. Exactly. Yeah. I feel you. It sounds frustrating. I hear it in your voice. Oh, thank you guys so, so, so very much. You guys were very helpful and he made valid points and, you know, he just made me, you know, take a self note of myself and just, you know, my actions and the part that I play in exactly. his actions. So, exactly. you know, now I know, you know, that's why I was at, you know, what to do, you know, walk away, let it be, stay, you know, so you just, again, opened my eyes a little more. And he gave me a little more clarity on this entire situation. Yeah, and I hope so that, that I need to do for us. Yeah, and I hope that with whatever you choose to do, that you just move forward in a positive light. You know, just be positive and be grateful. You got your, you got your family. You still got your babies. You know, yeah. so just be grateful. In ten, in ten years, he not, he not gone. Yeah, ten y'all got too much history and he know what he got, so just give him a chance to grow up, be a man. Yeah, and get his shit together. You can save this number. We're always here to talk. You can text us, whatever. And we just hope that we really did help you in this situation because that's really what it's about. Cause you're not the only person in the whole entire world that's going through this. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So just move forward, be positive, take care of your family, keep getting your money, and um, <laughs> and we're always here. Thank you so much. All right, thank, thank you. you. All right. Bye bye. She felt better.